I mean, I, we in 2000 and 2000 and 2000. 2000. 2000. <laughs> in 2000 and 10. Sounds like rookies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we thought we knew everything after that, and then we learned so much more, and we're such different veterans in, in 14. And definitely uh, we'll have that again in 2018. And now Tessa's <laughs> going to giggle the whole interview. <laughs> oh, this is a famous I'm Tessa versus giggle interview. <laughs> Tessa Turchu. <I'm> <laughs> Turchu. <laughs> <Tertu. laughs> yeah, 2000. I got to work on that. Coming into this season. <laughs> No, I'm not ready. What are you, are you writing an essay? Yeah. It was Tessa early in our career, <laughs> and now it's definitely me. Really? Yeah. What do you have? I have me. Yeah. Always me. Anything no, sleep related is me. If you get to sleep, sometimes you're just so restless. I read. Scott is fiery. He is um, passionate. He's driven, um, but he's also incredibly handsome. generous. <laughs> you want to answer that? Handsome, yeah, I think. You forgot handsome. Uh, you two are very different kids. You always have been, but I want you to talk about being in the back of the car on the way between London and Kitchener when you were little guys going oh for training. Yeah. Our poor parents, I cannot believe that they did that at 4 a.m. Yeah, and like our, biggest, times a week. our biggest concern were, was whether we were going to stop at the uh, Tim Hortons or the McDonald's on the way home. That's yes, all we really and cared we were about. getting our hot chocolate, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mostly on the way, on the drive, we would vote. Well, Scott got me a Marvin the Martian body pillow, which is ginormous. <laughs> And he'd have a pillow, and we'd both, guy, we'd both put our pillows up and kind of go one, two, three, and then like lean in towards each other and just sleep the entire <laughs> car ride. You were cute back then. <laughs> this has changed too. This has changed. Well, okay, um, wait. <laughs> well, I, did, I, did. I may be more, more likely to get pulled over, but I won't get a ticket. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, see, Tessa has this thing where police officers give her a chance to talk and explain about <laughs> herself, and I've never had that before. I get that, like, we sir, would you please step out of the vehicle right away? Tessa is brilliant in every sense. Everybody should have a Tessa. Oh, that's nice. And, I mean, we've spent 20 years working hard on this partnership and um, a lot of trust, and mostly, I mean, in those moments when the music ended in Pyeongchang. I just looked at Scott and I was so grateful to have lived the last 20 years by his side and, and to share in that moment together. So you're a couple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. If we were, we would announce it here. Yeah. This would be the place. I met Scott when I was about six or seven at the Lucan summer skating camp. And I didn't really even talk to him that much. I was always intimidated. He was always, you know, the outgoing Moyer boy who everyone wanted to be friends with. So I was kind of shy, and getting to know him was just great. Scott and I both started skating at the Elderton Skating Club, doing our first jumps there, our first dances. From the beginning when I started to skate with Tessa, uh, I knew that she'd be a good partner. Tessa, here is my picture in perfect cursive writing to the best partner ever. I put poached eggs, I was thinking real meal. I love, oh, that's so hilarious, eh? Like, a real meal of poached eggs. <laughs> yeah, because chocolate's ridiculous. <laughs> but if you want to sit down for a real romantic meal with me, it's poached, eggs. poached eggs. It's about the only thing I can make, so. Hello! Hello. It's me! <laughs> what, would the, what would the ice dance move the Arctic air look like? Ooh. Ooh, well, we'll show you. Yeah. We'll give you a little something. So I feel like I need some wind in my hair, yeah, right? We'll like some air. Let's just Arctic get you air. high. Okay. That might be it. Get you, well, not high. <laughs> no, Another no, different, no after you retire. <laughs> different There's candidate. no drug testing after you retire. <laughs> Awful. Ooh, he's supposed to fly. <laughs> so that's the it. My shoes ever came off. In my mind, today. she was gone. She was supposed to fly your wings to the Arctic air, okay? Sorry. Okay, this one's easy. This one's true, actually. Your hair smells like strawberries. <laughs> yep, that is what it is. I, just, I wish I knew because your eyebrows are doing that thing. Your hair. My hair. Your hair. Wait. Yeah. Your hair. Your hair. <laughs> My hair. <laughs> your. Your. Your hair smells hair. like strawberries. Smells like. Strawberries. <laughs> Strawberries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I can write this one with one hand. With one hand as opposed to two? Yeah, I usually write with two hands. <laughs> Way to call me in on that. Probably could have just let that go. <laughs> what do you love? Canada. Ooh, that was gonna be me. <laughs> what do you fear? I fear spiders. I was, I knew you were gonna say spiders. <laughs> what do you fear? Pretty much nothing. Okay, yeah. Wait, what about um, mascots? Don't tell people that, it's not funny. Oh, Scott. Always Scott. <laughs> if there's never, it's in 20 years, there's never been a time that you dated it at all? Actually, we, well, we did date when we were, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> just wait. Um, we are about that old. Yeah, exactly. Just before that picture was taken, Tessa was seven and nine, but we didn't talk to each other. I, I remember when we were skating, we just like hold hands and avoid eye contact. And in order to advance our partnership, we had to put the hot and heavy relationship on the side. And which meant you had to break up with me. Which meant, yeah, I broke up with Tessa and none of my friends have let me live that down since. <laughs> Wait, so you did sort of date when you were young? If you can call it that, yeah. yeah. I think mostly our families were laughing at us. It kind <laughs> no. of set us up and it was the same thing actually when we started ice dancing. Like they just kind of mm -hmm. put us together and I think it was just, for their amusement. And right. then all of a sudden, 20 yeah. years later, we're still doing it, so yeah. joke's on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird to see you talk <laughs> and hear Journey. And why Journey? <laughs> Don't stop believing them, I'm just kidding. Um, Wasn't she great today? <laughs> Wasn't she just... She held my butt up today. She was fantastic. And I think he was too. He, he was, he always is. <laughs> It is special. And it I, is I so hope, special. I hope Canadians, well, I, I know we feel that support so much, but um, we just feel so fortunate to have each other, uh, to have had this business relationship for 20 years, and to love going into work every day and yeah. to pushing ourselves. I mean, we've been through so much together. It's crazy to look back. I mean, a lot of things had to go right for us to be here. We went through adolescence together. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, but it's crazy it's that you're still even talking, let alone having the connection. It's crazy yeah, still it's laughing at his jokes. Yeah, well, I'm hilarious, so that's not so crazy. But, you know, it, it is special, and that's what makes this that much more sweet. I mean, I've waited to hear Tessa laugh and cry at the same time since 2010, and you got it. it was worth Is that it. What you it was um, and very quickly, can we show the video of us watching your uh, free program here? Because I feel like maybe we got a little too intense. Um, uh, yeah, Dean, our camera operator here, was very, very intense on the couch, but I was maybe the most intense. Um, I, I don't know, like, like, are you used to this kind of fandom? <laughs> I love it. And what are you supposed to yell when you guys, because do we yell, skate? Yeah, we, I don't like, know. I don't, don't drop her. <laughs> don't drop. I think yeah. someone did mention that. Yeah, we may have left that out. Thank okay. You. We practice in Canton, Michigan, and while we're in Canada, what we really miss is people saying A. No, no, while we're in the States. Oh, see, that's why you should do the opener. <laughs> we train in the States, so what we missed about Canada oh, right. is people saying A. And when we say A, people always make fun of us, like, oot in a boot, eh? <laughs> Out and about, like a mouse in a house. Right. Don't they make fun of us for being like, ooh. Ooh, you're right. Oot and a boot. Right. And he said it very properly. <laughs> it's confusing the audience. I. I. Accidentally. Ate. I ate my skates. <laughs> <laughs> no. Accidentally. I see. <laughs> I don't know how to, like. What are you doing? It's what isn't helping. Accidentally. <laughs> I, I mean, I, um, I, I ate, eat, I eat some crayons. I ate, like yeah. I ate <laughs> yeah. some crayons, crayons. I ate snails. <laughs> some, cr <What? laughs> some crayons, crayons. I mean, I don't even know how to help Just you here. Maybe show me the card. <laughs> show me the card. I ate all my crayons. I accidentally ate I accidentally ate some crayons. Sometimes I can be in London, Ontario, and no one will recognize me in my hometown. But anywhere Tokyo. in Japan, you are bound to find people on the street who pull you aside and say, oh, do you figure skate? And I recognize you in London, Ontario. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Even without my makeup? Yeah. Okay. Cool. When you're 80, <laughs> what do you think you're going to say to each other? We oh. just decided we would maybe watch Jeopardy every night. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Meet up <laughs> occasionally and maybe ballroom dance. We're gonna do yeah, yeah. ten year anniversary little private skates. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, this is a special relationship. Uh, so 
you know, it's it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. So it'll be interesting. Or are we going to ballroom dance? Are we going to, we have to find something, don't we? Because yeah, well, I don't think I got another one of those in me. These kids are good. Or? Yeah, yeah, just something lunch Join date. Lawn bowling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. At what point, though, okay, so now 20, 21, almost 21 years, at what point did you guys go, you know what, we're pretty good? Last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, last week when we got back on the ice, I was thinking, oh, ooh, yeah. what, what happened? happened <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Wait, what do you think it is? No idea. Just another moment where you're laughing at my jokes, eh? Yeah, so... <laughs> what happened here? That was in Sochi and there wasn't a Canadian flag for us to have yeah, at the middle good. ceremony. So good some God. wonderful fan um, offered her poncho, right? Yeah, like yeah. a rain poncho uh, to us to parade around the ice with, which was just so lovely and thoughtful and hilarious. Yeah, and that was one of our favorite moments, actually, because... Yeah. I mean, we were very pleased with our performance, and we kind of went cloud nine, and I mean, it was just so hilarious that our flag had a hood. <laughs> Question to Tessa and Scott. I, I, if, if I'm not correct, uh, I believe this is your 20th anniversary for your partnership. <laughs> <laughs> and can you speak about, I know it was not always easy to compete and be together for 20 years. Can you tell us the secret of the long partnership? And also, <laughs> were there any moments that you almost gave up? I feel like you really should answer this one. <laughs> I think everybody in the room knows it's a lot harder to live with me for 20 years than the other way around. Um, well, it will be our 20-year anniversary of competing in October, I guess, because um, our first was uh, October 1997. And we just want to clarify that we were 9 and 7 when we <laughs> were, were competing back then, and we had no aspirations of going to Worlds or any Olympics. And uh, so it's not like we've been in this game for 20 years, but we have been ice dancing together. And, you know, for that... We're, we're very fortunate, we're very thankful. It's, it's pretty cool to have a 20-year 20, 20 partnership and still really enjoy going into the rink every day and uh, you know, still you know, really, really love doing it with your partner, so. <laughs> and she's had clothes like that for all 20 years. Okay, over there. Let's move on fast. <laughs> and it's pretty crazy to say after almost 21 years, and, and I can be a lot to handle, we still come into the rink looking forward to see each other. And we love working together. And, you know, that'll be kind of the challenge now. Maybe that amateur skating is over is, is, is finding projects to work together because it's so much fun. I can't imagine my life, you know, without working with Tessa. And you better feel the same I way. Absolutely <laughs> do. This is where you do. step in and yeah. say Take that. Over. To and this is a natural moment, not a coached yeah. moment. Yeah. Where See, I totally I'm coaching feel the her, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't explain that so much. I don't remember. Just I remember the electricity going through my body, it all coming true. That was just a pure moment of testosterone and. I don't know, things come true, you know, like uh, you believe in something, you wait for a moment and it can happen, for real. So much of it is about what we build together, and for me it's been like that in my life, or sometimes I might not have the power to do it for myself, but I will always do it for Tess. Gosh, it would be the coolest thing if we could all end up on that podium. Um, I mean, just to be able to train with these guys and see how hard they work and, and know what they put into it, um, <clears throat> as well as being our best friends. And, it would just be a dream come true. I, I believe most of it, that's from the National a few years ago. I believe most of it, but when the camera had panned up and caught you, it's like, oh, wait a second, he thinks he's calling bull <laughs> right now. <laughs> he's right now. I know, and you must have felt tremendous amount of pressure. How did you deal with all that for today? <laughs> well, first of all, apparently I'm gu gullible because Scott just looked at me and said, we're second, and I believed him, so... Yeah, I took advantage of Tessa. <laughs> I know she doesn't pay attention to the points very much, so... <laughs> That's the last time you do that. I um, oh, what a journey this has been. I hope you're traveling well now and the stars over your head. I hope the river carries you. 
Uh, one that sticks out in my mind was heading to Tokyo one year and our flight was grounded so we stayed on the tarmac for six hours before going to Tokyo. I was in the last, very last row with a dog and a baby and Scott was way up. I think you were actually upstairs yeah. in, in yep. first class. Wow, you really let that go. <laughs> Weren't you in first class when I was at 55? Yeah, let's mention that. That makes me look good. All right, uh, Tess and Scott, without looking, what color are your partner's eyes? Uh, green. Brown. Gorgeous green. Brown. So you guys are always looking at each other deeply. <laughs> yes. Dan and I never do that. I fell in love with skating again and with each uh, with skating with each other so that's a that's a fantastic place to be especially at the end of a 20-year uh, partnership Who's most likely to pick up a dime off a sidewalk oh my gosh oh that's tessa yeah oh, wow I'm so superstitious Not, things yeah. like that oh, okay. all the time yeah okay yeah. So tessa will like we'll be warming up somewhere and she'll be like scott scott i'm like what's going on Penny. Lucky Penny, good day <laughs> good for us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, for a while I was convinced that he was leaving them around arenas for me just so that I felt good about things. Wow. That's that would be sweet. That would be nice. You know what's funny is I, I always hoped that you know they would ask different questions like you the hard questions to me and but that is not one I would want to answer. I, <laughs> I don't think I have an answer for what rattles you. You're pretty. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> what rattles you then? I don't know. You Letting it. down tea, I think, would be the biggest thing. That's something I couldn't live with. And that's when I looked at the beginning of this year, what can't I live with? And letting down Tessa was number one, I think. You know, we've done all this together. I want to end this on a good note. And I don't see that happening to you. Never. No, you could okay. I have we a feeling uh, the year. tickets are probably hard to get now. That's what we hear. Here uh, in Canada, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it's coming to London. I, I'm pretty sure it's... Sold out. Sold out. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Can't wait to get back in the ice at the I feel Bud like Gardens. we should know that. That it's sold out? Yeah. We should probably tell our family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We should probably get tickets for Maybe. all the people we promised. <laughs> yes, yeah. no kidding. Sorry, guys, you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> dare. I dare you. <gasps> this is a fun one. <laughs> they just appear. This is like a magical, I didn't know that they were there. Eat six saltines in a minute. You don't want this on camera. I'll try another, okay? This is a dare. <laughs> we're gonna find the thing, test the virtue. I'll do seven truths. <laughs> My God, there are some really funny ones here. Okay, here we go. Dance like no one's watching. Chair dance? No, I think you What's need to. What's my car move and you always make fun of me? I do like the little. Thing out the window? <laughs> oh yeah. You do love the window when the song comes on. Can you actually, oh is, this, like six, is this, is this, okay. In a minute. What's your strategy, one at a time, two? Like this reminds me of Chubby Bunny. Did you used to play oh that? Oh my God. With the marshmallows, you put it in your mouth and you say Chubby Bunny and then you keep putting them in. It's a really dangerous game. This was what I did at skating camp. It's amazing actually that we ever had any success. I'm more nervous than I was for the games. It's time. You ain't clump, right? But no one's judging you. I have no saliva. <laughs> can do mm -mm. This, you really can do this. Ten seconds to go. It's not that good. It's not good. Either. They're good crackers like though. This. Um, we're very excited uh, about the skate, and it felt really technically strong. <laughs> <laughs> what? It felt strong. We're really happy, and she's still happy. She has the giggles. Do you feel it? You had already won, or you have to fight again? Oh no, not at all. Um, <laughs> With this sport, you have to do three strong programs. And <laughs> we're very uh, focused on tomorrow and excited for tomorrow. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's just uh, so happy. It's, it was a great performance, and uh, well, I'm focused for tomorrow. It's it's Tess. We're gonna have to bring her around. That's all. Who are your strongest opponents? Uh, well, obviously, Marilyn and Charlie are, are our strongest opponents, and. We're very excited <laughs> about uh, about their progress this, the last couple of years, and we know that they're going to do great programs, so we know we have to come and skate well. Thank you. I Thanks. love that. Scott, I actually, this is the first time I'm seeing this, and I'm sorry. You're up. Come here. <laughs> yes, Scott. I believe in you. Oh, it's time to redeem myself. I'm really kind of sorry. enjoying it. Let's hope for the Macarena. This is a strange Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, this is in my wheelhouse. In three, two, one, go. That 
to the list of things amazing. my mother thought she'd never see me do on national TV. And Tessa, you didn't, you weren't sitting nearby. Was that on purpose or? She was working. I was actually oh. at a practice, so <laughs> we, were, we had a, so we had a to... mandatory practice that we were supposed to be at. Oh yeah. Tessa texted me and I was like, "I'm going to the women's game." She's like, "I guess I can go." And I was like, "Well, you can." No, no, I'm going to the women's game. She, <laughs> yeah. she. I, I was happy to do that though because just one of us oh, needed yeah, to learn the choreography still. and and sure. teach it to the other. So, I knew that as a team we would be well represented at the women's games. The two of them with sparkling personalities <laughs> and an unquestioned chemistry. What's your favorite part of skating with the one and only Scott Moyer? My favorite thing is how much Mr. Scott Moyer makes me laugh. <laughs> they skate, they laugh. You would think with so much in common, they would be a perfect couple. Maybe turn into boyfriend-girlfriend. Just like Saleh and Pelche, who knows what could happen? They're now married. <laughs> when asked, Tessa didn't exactly say no. Maybe. And that caught Scott off guard. After Twelve years of doing these interviews? Well, we probably did the interviews for five but I've been trying to pitch that. And that's the first time I got a maybe, so. So you're making progress. Progress. NHK. Trophy. <laughs> trophy. NHK trophy. Scott, both of you guys have to answer. What's your favorite fast food joint? Your partner's, your partner's favorite. Oh. favorite fast your food joint. Your partner's favorite oh, fast food gosh. joint. Oh, gosh. Um, I think Dairy Queen for you. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I'm not Anything sure with I even ice had cream an answer or, that Yeah, had. we're not really... Oh gosh, that's a. We're not really fast food people, but well, what it's money. Been? Wow, we really don't. <laughs> these guys are tearing our partnership <laughs> apart. <laughs> we were so together yesterday. <laughs> Jeez, who are you? Torn apart <laughs> over DQ. Bon, évidemment, je suis obligé de vous poser la question qui brûle les lèvres de tout le monde. Est-ce que c'est vous qui aiguisez vos patins avant chaque compétition? <laughs> prepared answer which was no 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 but <laughs> wait uh no nous ne sommes pas un couple <laughs> which but, is my french practice okay but Love now you. you have to say right i don't know how to say we don't sharpen our french it was an awesome to separate ce soir what is the funniest thing oh well that's embarrassing that is this is authentic maybe it's a nice We'll just pretend that that's a sound effect. Do you want me to get it? I should get it. Yeah, exactly. Well, Scott, could you grab it if yeah, you don't okay. mind? Because it Tessa, won't stop. Okay, Tessa, so your funniest memory. Let's see if Scott's going to say hello. Hello. He's answering our phone for us. Um, no one ever calls me. She is not right now. Can she call you back? Okay, so what do you think about your um, funniest memory? And someone wants to know what kind of coffee is that that you're holding? Yes. Oh, it's Oh, very nice. That is from uh, Daryl Hitchcock. Oh, hi, Daryl. <laughs> so, Scott, what happened? Oh, they want to know if my wife is available. <laughs> is your wife Patricia available? Okay. And you no, heard actually, it here. She's busy right now. Please. Don't you me. heard it first here on CBC Sports. Scott, we weren't going to be able to keep it uh, secret forever. Yeah. How exciting it is to be in October and looking ahead to the season and knowing that we have a full season to compete. We and can see it in your eyes. Oh, you can? Yeah. Can you see my eyes? It's really bright. <laughs> um, well, that's our biggest goal. And maybe to open Tessa's left eye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that. After the Find someone who looks at you the way Virtue and Moyer look at each other. It just avoided my eye contact. But... Where should Canada put the Virtue and Moyer statues? In their hometowns or in all the hometowns? That's so sweet. God, Canadians are the best. They are so nice. Honestly, at the end of their last routine, Scott should just get down on one knee and propose. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think I'm skipping that one. Virtue and Moyer just skated. Winter Olympics are over. They melted all of the ice. Everyone is pregnant. Oh. Like, how does that make any sense? <laughs> These are so good. I know why they gave them to me. Uh, Scott and Tessa's fake love is ruining real love for the rest of us. But it's not fake. We do we do really care about each other. Okay, I don't know about this one. I'm going to say it anyways because I'm feeling edgy today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sex is great and all, but have you ever watched Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer skate? <laughs> Jeez. What a way to end. Yeah, what a way. Too bad we can't watch ourselves skate yet. Yeah. <laughs> now, would you prefer to be the hunter or the hunted? Like, do you like going in as the underdog or do you want to be defending a title? Uh, oh, both are fun. I think I prefer being the hunted. It, I think it's more mm. of a challenge. It's it's a lot harder, in my opinion. It is, yeah. yeah. What about you? Oh, I'm the opposite. I like yeah. having something to chase. Got I that? like... Oh. Going in and having oh. to prove something. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why we make a good team. What's the gift given by the other? Can I? It's a good 
given by the other that you would like the most? Oh, I have two. That you like the most? Yeah, one was uh, Scott for Christmas one year gave me a Marvin the Martian body pillow. Because he used yeah, to spend a lot of time in the car. And he wrapped it in wrapping paper, I think, or newspapers. Probably newspaper. <laughs> and uh, I took that thing everywhere with me. That was amazing. And um, it's funny because we often use, this is a, well, kind of a personal thing. I've never really told anyone, but... Um, in training, we often reference Marnie McBean, and she talks about filling your jar of rice. So every yeah. good thing you do, you're adding rice to the bucket. And uh, sometimes when you have bad days, you're not necessarily taking rice out, but you're not adding yeah. any, but you still have the bowl of rice. So anyways, I was going to reference that because before the World Championships last year at Nice, uh, my doorbell rang, and I went downstairs, and there was no one there, but there was this ginormous bucket full of rice. Oh. And it was from Scott, and it basically just said, like, look at how much rice we have, kiddo. Like, you know, we have so much... Um, training behind us and, and we knew that we were ready and I thought that was probably the best gift that anyone's ever given me. Amazing. Alyssa has a question as well. What was running through both of your minds right after you struck that final pose? <laughs> there was... I mean, you visualize that moment for years mm -hmm. and I didn't know, you know how I might feel or how I might react but it was this palpable energy in the building it was electric and I was just so proud that we had laid down the performance we dreamed of mm -hmm. and I just sort of looked at Scott with sheer disbelief as if to say like we we really did it <laughs> we did it kiddo and you had just electricity running through your body yeah. I think I, it was it's always interesting with two people to celebrate because Tessa always reminds me that like I can't just leave her you know like <laughs> if I finish on a knee I can't just like hang out down there and she's just like come on help me out <laughs> Um, but I, I was kind of concerned because I was so excited and I actually, one thought that did go through my head was just like, don't hurt her. Cause I, like I really? grabbed her and I was squeezing so tight and she was squeezing tight back, but I was like, okay, like that's maybe a little bit, that's a little bit too hard, but it was electricity is right. I mean, we dream about those moments. You never know how they're going to feel and yeah. um, it'll be fun to watch the footage because I don't really remember what happened. I remember like stepping away and then yeah. hugging back and then stepping away and not believing it. My mom and dad were, that's who I would say sorry to first, but you know, they just asked for nothing. It's great parents. All right, who's more likely between you two to go skydiving? Buy a Groupon for belly dancing. Oh. Hopefully you. <laughs> what do you mean, oh, like we have to think about that. I'm never belly dancing ever. Win the lottery. Tessa. Take she wins roll up the rim all the time. Oh, so. Do you really? I do. Winner again. It's Y'all, my seriously? favorite. I know. I love it. What do you win? I get like, like abnormally excited for Tim Hortons coffee. <laughs> and, and, and if it's season. roll up the rim, we, we got home from Sochi and I was just like, what could be better? <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you more likely to take a vacation? Him. Star in a movie? Her. Get married in the next 12 months? Him. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, FYI. This hand moves so quickly yeah. towards him. I didn't even finish the question. It must be him over there. <laughs> You're portraying so many emotions out there. And you do it with your bodies, and you have help from the music, but a lot of it is in the faces. Mm -hmm. So, like, just, like, a couple of pointers to get me through my life would be really appreciative. Like, jealousy. Ooh, jealousy. He, he does the, cl yeah. the clenching oh, of the oh, jaw. Oh, go, 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 go. Sorry, Sorry, do it again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have jawbones. I just bones. can't, yeah. It's a... I don't have jawbones. Get frightened. He is very mm -hmm. expressive eyebrows. But oh my God, frightened is more like for me, yeah. We don't do frightened a lot on yeah. this. No, <laughs> we try to do Actually, the opposite of frightened. In the moments yeah. before the music started, yeah, exactly. I think that's, that's where the frightened comes in. Can you do hunger for me? Feel it right now, can you yeah. tell? I'm starving. No, that's a good I, game face. Before we started this interview, I whispered yeah. to him, I'm so hungry. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that was good. You look like an adorable little... Yeah. Like creature, yeah. almost. Well, <laughs> like a man, obviously, still. But like an adorable like a creature man. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I felt the pressure of free dance day. I was trying not to think about that six point gap, but you know, where it should have been comfortable was probably the fact that if I blew the biggest lead ever in Ice Dance history, <laughs> was playing with us a little bit. And okay. um, I felt it. I thought Tessa was great and very, very strong and, you know, really pulled me through, but I was tight and it wasn't my day. And it's a great lesson to have. And as cliche as it is, Probably the perfect lesson at a World Championship before an Olympic Games. But you bounced back so well, and I mean, if that's not a great day for you, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah. Well, usually you're not supposed to have to pull me up. Like, I did it. I did it. I didn't do anything. So there's talk that you actually you made some comment to him. I think I just said, "Oh, very dramatic." Yeah, it was so cute because <laughs> I was like, I mean, I've quite like I don't have a bad temper sometimes. I do, but um, <laughs> usually when I'm competing, I can bounce back. But I was just like, "Oh God, come on, Scott!" And mm. she had a joke for me right away and brought me right back and gave me a squeeze of the arm and. Uh, you know, it's 
yeah, it was, it was a pretty nice moment. So it was, put everything in perspective and, and we were able to finish the program strong and just kind of barely cling on to that. <laughs> <laughs> Got a title out of it. My, I always caution when I say this, but my first love was hockey. Um, I started figure skating because uh, my mom was a pro and uh, they put me in hockey and I couldn't skate. So she convinced my dad to have me move over and then I met pretty girls and I was gone. But... <laughs> Girls. Well played. Wow. Man. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, this one makes sense. This one pretty girl. Wow. Yeah. We were the last household to get the internet for yeah. sure. We what? all. I remember walking to the yeah. library to check my MSN. Messenger? To, yeah, and then just waiting around hoping that, you know, I would get a response while I was still standing at the <laughs> computer at the yeah, library. I wonder, that, that boy who, who was supposed to respond to her, I wonder what he's doing now. He's probably still on messengers trying to send you stuff, eh? <laughs> uh, my, this is my favorite game to play with Scott, especially when we're in the car. No, um, no, uh, let's see, yeah, inside the actor studio. And I, like, fire uh, away all the inside the actor. What's I your sleep, favorite sound? <laughs> I sleep better at night knowing the answers to all those yeah. So I have to ask you this. So 20 years, it's like a marriage, right? <laughs> so after 20 years, what bugs you about your partner? You know, it's this, It's a sick answer. I think people are going to be really <laughs> it's upset. It's going to be sappy, it. isn't oh, it? Oh, <laughs> my God. But, you know, it's crazy. And this, like, some days, like, I look at Tessa, and I just think, like, this is such a funny little relationship that we have because it's better than it was um, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, five years ago, winning the Olympics, in our biggest fights, like, in our highest moments, I think now it's better than it's ever been, and and that's a friendship. Okay, Tessa, your turn. What bugs me? Well, you're punctual now. That used to be a thing that, <laughs> that he's on time all the time. 